You're welcome to another edition of the Market Opening Gong, where we bring you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Friday, September 16, 2022. From the Nigeria exchange, the equities market dipped by minus 0.13% to close the week negative as investors lost 35.09 billion naira. Its year to date returns currently stands positive at plus 15.82%. The All Share Index closed at 49,475.42 basis points as market capitalization stood at 26.69 trillion naira in 3,303 deals. The market closed with 8 gainers to 13 losers. The top 3 gainers for the day were NEM PLC, Academy PLC, and Cadbury PLC. While the top 3 losers were Regal Insurance, Unity Bank, and Access Corporation PLC. FBN Holdings, PLC, Zenith Bank, and Access Corp were the most active stocks by volume. From the unlisted ODC market, the NSI and market capitalization closed flat at 741.09 basis points and 975.57 billion naira, respectively. The total volume traded deep by minus 94.37% to close at 10.06 million, valued at 1.6 million traded in 12 deals. From the currency market, the NAFEX rate dipped by minus 0.04% to close at 435.64 while the INEFX window closed at 436.25 From the commodities market, capturing the energy space, the Brent crude oil price inched up by plus 2.41% to close at $91.77. The West Texas Intermediate also inched up by 0.82% to close at $85.08 as of 9.58 a.m. Central Daylight Time. For metals, gold inched up by plus 0.90% to close at $1,777.58. Silver inched up by plus 2.37% to close at $19.42 as of 9.58 a.m. Central Daylight Time. From the FX exchange, cashew advanced by 9.94% to top the gainer's chart, while soybeans declined by 1.54% to top the loser's chart. You can visit our website www.proche.co to get a daily market snapshot. For news around the market for the week ended 16 September 2022, the NGX ASI recorded a loss of minus 0.44% week on week, while the NASD ODC closed negative with a minus 2.03% loss. Also, a World Bank comprehensive study has stated that central banks across the world simultaneously hike interest rates in response to inflation. It warns that the world may be aging towards a global recession in 2023 and a string of financial crises in emerging markets and developing economies that will do them lasting harm. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Do connect with us on our social media platforms showing on the screen. Until we come your way again, thank you for watching.